Hey guys, Barry here from TGS with the Forza Horizon 4 Super 7 Achievement Hunting video. We have the Achievement High Roller, most likely the rarest one in the Horizon Super 7. 40 gamer score, reach level 10 in Horizon Super 7. For this achievement, you're going to do exactly what it says. You're going to go ahead and try to reach level 10. If you go to the main menu, go over to Horizon Super 7, scroll down right here, you'll see I'm uh, currently level 9. You'll be able to select this, and within this Horizon Life menu, where all this other stuff is as well, you're able to go over here, and it'll tell you your current level, how many points you need to uh, you know, reach the next level, and what you'll unlock. We're currently 3,380 away from leveling up to you know the final level, level 10. So I figured I'd make a little video explaining my method of doing this. So that actually begins with explaining something real quick with the achievements. My recommendation is you go for 7 squared off the bat, you're going to have to do the Horizon Super 7 7 times. This will get you pretty far along, maybe level 4, level 5, somewhere in there. On top of that, I uh, had a separate you know, run for this, but you can actually combine these two and this achievement all in one. What you're going to do is actually, once you're done the Horizon se hoop, uh, Super 7 7 times, I almost called the Hooper 7, you're going to go over the Challenge Browser, and you go over to new, and every time you do a new one, any of these, I suggest picking the easiest ones. You'll go ahead and pretty much unlock 5200 XP per run, and you get the idea. It adds up quickly. You find the short ones, a minute, under a minute, a minute and a half, and you complete them, and it'll add up real quick. I've been able to level up pretty rapidly. I think I completed 100% of DLC at this point with this video in five to six hours, so it's not too bad at all. That's pretty much what people say online as well, so... uh just want to point out one thing in this video real quick if you see this little controller in the top left of any of the posts do not play it it'll destroy your xp i think i got two or three hundred xp every time we did one of these so i don't recommend it for the purpose of this video i just need to complete one without a controller at the top it can pretty much be any of these so uh you know for instance we can use the makan to reach a destination in under one minute seven seconds the other thing I want to say about this is if you go into the new section and you see some that might be repeats, you can replay them and it will still give you 5200 XP. But if you find it in a separate area, it will not grant the same XP, so make sure you go back to the new section every time and look underneath that prior to picking anything. Well, like I said, you can play the same one 10 times as long as it keeps showing up under new. It should grant you 5200 XP, just make sure that controller is not showing on the top left of the post. My other recommendation is don't waste your time on a lot of these. Uh, they'll kind of lead you around. It's usually best to take the shortcuts, pretend you're you know, playing Eliminator, and just be out to the destination, kind of like what I'm doing right here. You could drive all the way around the road and take all that time, but I'm going to complete this challenge in approximately you know, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, somewhere in there by the time we get over here and fall down the mountain, flip over a few times. All the good things that happen with this. So uh, one sec, guys. Let's get down this hill. Forty seconds. Oh, under forty seconds. Rolling the, <laughs> the Macan over for the high roller achievement. Perfect timing because we rolled as we got the roller achievement. Reached level ten. That is how it's done. Very straightforward challenge. Giving us a uh, easy grab at XP. Just gonna show these screens for you guys real quick. There you go. Fifty-two hundred influence. So it's influence, not XP. You get the idea. Going over here, you'll see that it crossed over to level 10. We got a wheel spin. Let's see what we get. Once you reach level 10, I don't think you can level up anymore. You just unlock, uh, you know, wheel spins and so forth. Of course, you know, the common yellow hoodie is a great prize for that completion. I'll go ahead and drop a like on this one. That's as simple as the achievement is. That's my recommended path. Hopefully you guys don't have much trouble with it, uh, but you could definitely get it done in a decent amount of time. Thanks for watching, like and sub.